Hi everybody, my name is Olivia and welcome to my channel and my first Let's Play series of the remake of the game Sherlock Holmes The Awakened. I never played this game, I'm pretty sure this is a remake of the 2009 Sherlock Holmes The Awakened, but I knew when I saw the trailer I had to play this game and I thought what better way to spend my time than to play with you guys and make some new friends in the process. I've always loved playing games and I love Sherlock Holmes, I'm a big fan. So. Please subscribe and leave a comment down below and a like. Let me know what you guys think. Let me know what you want to see more of. And I won't keep you too long for this intro. Let's get into it. It is a Lovecraft meets Sherlock Holmes crossover. The Awakened puts you up against the legendary Cthulhu mythos. Investigate a series of mysterious disappearances, apparently linked to a dark cult that worships an ancient god. Whatever their plan is, you must put a stop to it or face unspeakable consequences. Here we go. What are y'all snacking on? I've had like three coffees. That has been my snack. I haven't even had breakfast. I'm gonna be vibrating. Dr. Watson, would you kindly close the door behind you so that we can limit the price of your carelessness to merely hours of work rather than days? <laughs> My apologies, Mr. Holmes. I found myself rather taken aback. <laughs> I saw tidy houses in war-torn Afghanistan. Are those my surgical needles? I ran out of tax and the matter required immediate attention. Characters seem on point so far. Plainly not, for I was the one who ate it. Hmm. That is unappetizing. And for that, I am grateful. Is that my bed? Watson, since you've proven yourself a master of observation, might I ask you to apply your skills to a more pertinent question? Namely, the whereabouts of today's newspapers. They are the key to everything. The newsboy is usually reliable. Medically speaking, I often find that the key to everything is good sleep. In a bed. Your papers are here, on the table. To see what the postman brought today. Okay. Wazd. Let's go. Oh, my man, you were going backwards. London Advertiser. Okay, so we've got a bar at the top. What are we. Oh! Visit Barnes Bookshop. Barnes and Nobles? Tight. Dude, rotate. Yogle? Yogi? Yogi Bear? Another letter from Verna. I never reply, but they keep coming. What is it? What, what's it say? Oh, we don't get to know what it says. Okay. I'll try to look that up. Oh, okay. Okay, cool. So, hold to inspect. London Advertiser. September 28, 1882. Tensions between England and Sweden are running high after a series of unfortunate mishaps. During a recent visit to London by Swedish Prince Ildur, chief among the scandals was the embarrassment of the British diplomatic corps as a result of the unexplained disappearances of Prince Ildur's personal bodyguard. The longtime member of her inner circle took the opportunity to explore London while off duty and never returned from his late night promenade. I saw that twitch into the background. Local Obviously. gossip, all of it uninteresting. Okay, so that must be the inspect bar. That is not it. We don't care about that. Should we? We already did that. I don't... No, escape. You again? No. Hmm. I don't know what you want me to do. Spell it out for me. Oh, maybe we should move. Okay, so we're moving. Okay, cool. Not far. I'm not off to the bestest start. Another letter from Verna. I never reply, but they keep okay, coming. Not what I wanted. Take the letter out. 
take the letter out. Nope. Your order from Barnes Bookshop has arrived, Doctor. Barnes insists on delivering the books to our door, even though we could easily walk to I his did shop. That. That's good service. Wish she would deliver better instructions. Goodbye. I don't see the strand. Where is it? Pardon me? I am on the precipice of uncovering a pattern of crime across London spanning many months and involving many men. The missing paper cannot be a coincidence. That's preposterous. My dear fellow, life is infinitely stranger than anything which the mind of man can invent. Well, life used your newspaper to wipe its posterior, so after <laughs> that unpleasant discovery this morning, I disposed of it. But in lieu of the strand, perhaps I can deliver you something equally tantalizing. I have just returned from a patient of mine, Captain Stemwick, who... No, no, that will not do. Grab your coat, Dr. Watson. Let us hope nobody has collected the dustbin. <laughs> there we go, digging in the trash. All right. So let's go. Um, absolutely, I'm out of here. I'm gonna throw up. So dizzy. It's rainy today. Why not dress in something more appropriate for the weather? Open casebook with C. Navigate to the wardrobe tab with tab and put on a hat. You gotta be sharp, sharp dressed. All right. A hat. Absolutely. I like the classic. Absolutely. Let's go. Bye. Ooh. Taking a ride? Nope. Cannot say hello to the horse. Is that? Nope, it's not him. I thought that was Watson. Okay. Who is making all that noise? You're upsetting the horse. Which way are we going? What are we doing? Watson brought in the morning's post, but the strand is missing. He disposed of it before entering the building because the pages were soiled. What use is he? Now we gotta go dig in the trash. This is his fault. There is still a chance it might be found in the dustbin. That's what we're doing. <laughs> Completely forgot. Oh, he's leading us there. Oh. What is that? A splinter? God. Okay. Can we, like, move stuff out of the way? That's it right there, right? You were mistaken, Dr. Watson. The paper was indeed dirtied, but not how you implied. It's potting soil. Okay. Anything else in here? Obviously, it's something. But, yeah. If you don't stop with the toothpick, can I pick it up? Bro. You were mistaken, Dr. Watson. The paper was indeed dirtied, but not how you implied. It's potting soil. Why is our heart beating so fast? And you know what? It was the same problem on the desk. I wonder the if it's not spine. this. Yep. If it gets yeah. in your skin, it's awfully tricky to remove, and when laced with poison, the perfect assassination tool. See, okay. Watson, the conspiracy is real. Someone tried to poison me. Poison? <laughs> you? That's madness. Why are we why are we running? Why are we running? Why are we run where are we running? Get the strand. Get your copy of the strand here. Absolutely. How much? Do I have money? Sorry, Mr. Holmes. I just sold my last Then why paper. are you advertising? Lost. Then why are you still here? Boss pays by the hour. No sense in returning early. Same. Bro, that is a vibe. What happened to my newspaper? We got a deal, man. We were working something out. You hold my newspaper and I don't report you to your boss. I think Any more important. News what are the headlines? The dog accident. It's the talk of the town. Yes, yes. Besides the tribe on the front page, anything about burglaries? I'm not sure, sir. What did happen to my newspaper? You're a bright child. I presume you see everything that goes on around here? Nothing gets past me, mister. Then tell me, did you notice anyone suspicious at my door this morning? Hmm. Like the man with your newspaper? 
Precisely. That would do it. What do you know? I know the value of a shilling. <laughs> Dr. Watson. Cool. Now I can take the day off. So what did he do to the paper? Tell me about the man at our doorstep. Or where was he headed? I don't keep track of everyone that comes by. I doubt the boy would. Did you see what he was up to? Nah, not really. I saw him approaching your house, but I had a customer. Then there's a loud bang. I heard that too. I ducked down. That? Not because I was scared, because I wasn't. I had to protect the merchandise. And all I could see was him I... kneeling at your door. Can you describe the man you saw? He was carrying a lot of books. Mm. Up to his chin they were. Never heard of a well-read assassin. Didn't the that... can deceive. Hence the appeal of disguises. Did I deliver books? The bookshop person? Which way did he go? Not sure. I was distracted by customers. Sorry. All right. You earned your shilling. That'll be all. Thanks, Mr. Holmes. Maybe I could be your eyes and ears. I was an entrepreneur in the making. No shillings. <laughs> Get the strand. Shush, Get I'm trying to read. Of the strand here. You're done. You've got a new question in your mind palace. Open the case book with C to navigate to the mind get palace. The and get your boy, copy if you of don't get up out here. of my ear, I cannot hear myself think. So, that's the pawn shop. It's gotta be get one corner. Eeny, meeny, miny. I'm already facing this way. So that's blocked off, so like... It's gotta be leading me. How lost could we get? Are we are here? Absolutely we are. Ah, found it. We got this. Alright, bro, why are you trying to poison me? You? Hmm? No, you don't look like you're nobody. Let me observe you. From right next to you. Yeah, I'm sure he won't notice. Bags under eyes. This effects of overwork. Gosh, I got bags for days. Oh, what is on your hands? You know what is up. Go to the... There we go. Ink, newspaper, ink. I mean, what else would it be? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh. Leans heavily on his right leg, sore left leg. I mean, I couldn't even tell. And then what? Mud? How kind of low do you want me to go? There we go. Hi, you still look taller, don't we all? Short gang unite. Mr. Barnes has developed a limp and has large bags under his eyes, the result of long intense the result of long hours of intense work. He is not very confident and tries to appear taller by wearing high heels. Don't call me out like that. It seems unlikely that such a person would be involved in a murder plot, even if the ink on his hands suggests he is the one who soiled the newspaper. Nevertheless, Mr. Barnes could still be a pawn in a bigger plan without his knowledge. Workaholic or a blackmail victim? <laughs> oh, man. I don't know enough to start calling out. Overwork. Sore left leg. Once one taller. Blackmail victim. How would we even know? That is wild. You know what? Oh. That's just weird. Like, I feel like I've been right so far, so I called it. Why not just go with a wild guess? Let's just really full send it. I cannot see. Move. Absolutely. I already said yes. Mr. Barnes? A word. <gasps> oh, he looks goodness like sake. a child. Look at that baby face. I should not be talking. Who, uh, who goes there? Sherlock Holmes. You now, look you suspicious, please? man. Mr. Holmes. Golly, I did not see you coming. You didn't see me coming and stare at you? some questions for me? Well, I wish I could, but I am deep in the weeds with work. How about we uh, reschedule in a month or two? What a face. 
Come now, Mr. Barnes. It will only take a moment. Really deep in the weeds with, uh, with important things. Well, help yourself to any book. Just take it and pay later. No, nah, man. We already know. The jig is up. Barnes doesn't seem like himself. Just open the door. Why is he acting this way? You're oh asking God. the right questions. Can Doctor. we move? Let's find a way to coax him out. Okay. We'll set the store on fire. I cannot move. Press E to highlight the interactive areas in the environment around you. I mean, reading the instructions will probably help. Okay. Barnes has always been a little odd, but this is uncharacteristic even for him. A little. We're I'm trying to for murder a you. Needle in a haystack. Oh, thank God I can move. A spine in a book stack? No, come on, Watson. Think. The ladder is broken oh. recently, judging by the freshness of the wood. Maybe he is just walking along. I wouldn't know. Couldn't be me, bro. We did? With the. Yeah, there we go. Oh. Painting? Creepy. I could hardly imagine anything more macabre. It just looks like you spilled some pain. I mean, I don't think it's that macabre. All right. Huh? Basics of cryptoanalysis, cryptography in Egypt. It appears Barnes has an interesting hobby. Everlasting, everlasting plans for everlasting love. Oh, this never ends poorly. A catalog of exotic plants on Barnes counter. The name of the catalog reads "Everlasting Plants for an Everlasting Love." I just read that. That was pointless. Sure. Do this thing. Okay. You are everywhere, man. What are you doing? Didn't you once tell me that answers usually lie oh, in you. plain sight? Well, if it's so plain, stop looking for books and help me. Or do you want to get stuck with a cactus? I've already been here with this. Cool. Just moved. Oh, there is something over there. I knew there was something over here. Are we nervous? An improvised stand, but it does make the flowers more visible. Okay. I really feel like that's a clue. In the language of Mycroft's secret agents, it's a sign. Dried flowers are replaced when the job is done. I wonder who the recipient is. Okay, so we are probably right in our guess that this man is up to no good. Can I do anything else. Are you sniffing? What is that sound? Oh. No. Oh. Oh. The finest view London has to offer. Is it? Okay. I think that is a clue. Unless I'm wrong, should I just give it a once over before I go talk to her? Let's ask the dog. He knows. It's gotta be. That has gotta be a clue to go and talk to her. Can you do something? Didn't anything? you once tell me that answers usually lie in plain sight? Obviously not plain enough for you to help. The weather is dreary, isn't it? To be fair, my flowers could use the rainfall. Ma'am, have you seen a murderer roam in these parts? Flowers, maybe? Dog? We love dogs. Just shut up. Encouraging people to stop and smell the roses. Our national emblem. God save the queen. It must take patience and care to produce a bloom so beautiful. I imagine so. I merely sell them. Pot is damaged. The blow was severe, but softened by something. Dirt. It's on the newspaper. Was that not? It's just familiar spine. That's what I found in my dustbin. I had figured that out. Anything tickle your fancy, Mr. Holmes? 
I just... No, I want to leave. Oh. Avoids eye contact or distracted. Is everyone out to get us? Luxury fabric. Unusual for work attire. She's not real. I mean, she's Cthulhu. Morning brooch. Honoring deceased husband. Shoes. Clean boots. That's what I'm saying. Those look pretty clean. Tell me when. Mm. Mm -mm. Mm. Those look like the hands of a giant squid. Oh, your mouth. Wearing makeup for beauty or concealment. Kind of the same thing. This film. As in, like, date you? Is this, like, a romance option? That's kind of weird. We're trying to figure out if we're getting lip blacked or not. Nah. I think that she's on the market single and ready to mingle. Mrs. Fleming, you look Otherwise, why would he have made that comment today. across the street? A Does a woman the window. Need a reason to the most beautiful view beautiful? in all of England no, or something? your distant look suggests you seek one man's gaze in particular. Who told you that? Nobody. Merely a keen eye and some simple deduction. Well, I'll kindly ask you to keep your keen eye to yourself, Mr. Holmes. I don't know anything about this, sorry. Are you familiar with Mr. Barnes? Yes. No, not really. Mm. Well, in a way. What on earth does that mean? I know he is, of course. But we haven't shared much more than a look. A look? Yes. Each morning I go for a walk in the park with my dog. And most days I spot Mr. Barnes there with his new puppy. So we see each other. Actually, we once met briefly. What happened to your other played. husband? He was quiet and seemed unsteady accident? as he approached. But since then, we've never spoken. I often see him staring through the shop window. Sometimes I wonder what he thinks about that would edge such longing into his <laughs> He's just into your cactus, girl. Move on. Are you sure you're asking the right person? I'm just a flower seller. Yeah. That's what they all say. Are you sure you're asking the right person? I'm just a flower seller. I don't know anything about this, sorry. I don't trust you. Are you sure you're asking the right person? Can I'm I just, just a flower seller. Everything? One of these things is oh. not like the other. That's what I've been saying. Come again? The cactus. Those fearsome spines can say to the bookseller. And the sap is often toxic. And a rose thorn can give you tetanus, but we still grow them. The cactus seems comparatively harmless. Though you have me thinking it must be valuable. I was under the impression that you knew its price already. Your guess is as good as mine. The first time I saw this cactus was when I came back from my break. You don't think it's weird that random stuff showing up in your shop, ma'am? I don't know anything about this, sorry. What do you make of the flowers in Barnes' shop window? Well, they could use a bit of water. Do they mean anything to you? Mean anything how? I'm not sure I follow Mr. Holmes. Why do you think they're there? Are you suggesting the flowers are for me? It seems likely, does it not? Oh, I hope you're right. Your eyes are kind of wild. I just noticed that. Can you look directly at me? You do not look all there. All right. Can I... Are we wrapping this up? Are we... I don't want to talk to her anymore. Dog. We've clicked on enough dogs. Can I go in? Nope. You got something to hide? Do the Z button. 30 minute cooldown. once and for all we can now coax him out and be like you romancing her miss fleming claims she doesn't know how the cactus appeared on her display she went for a break and it was there she came back that's so weird and you just kept it there 
I don't think he likes it. I think he's trying to pin you for murder. Is that everything? Okie dokie, Artichoke. Book from Barnes. Nine hours later. Cracked cactus in a pot. All right. Mr. Barnes in love with Miss Fleming. Barnes displays a bouquet of dead flowers to attract the attention of Miss Fleming, a florist. Florist. A flautist. He may hope she will come into his shop and give him watering advice, or it could simply be a symbol of his desperation. Has this been for nothing? I look like an idiot for nothing. Barnes anonymously gifted her a cactus, which he ordered from the catalog on his counter. A questionable choice, but for Barnes, a symbol of his eternal love, since the catalog presents these cacti as immortal. Plainly, this is the same cactus he dropped on the st strand outside 22B, 221B Baker Street. Now hear the full story. Now to hear the full story. He is not a strong reader, is he? Hmm. Open I, the door. Uh, I think perhaps I Come have on. been chasing shadows. I you doubt it. Despair, Mr. Holmes, even so, the best of us. I know you are in league with the squid. Boy. What do I do? Tell Mr. Barnes what we've learned. Mr. I'd like Barnes, to. There we go. I know what you did, and I know why you did it. I'm sorry, Mr. Holmes. I can't. What a weird reaction. Just running away. You don't run away just because you like a girl. Woman. Elder. I don't know how old she is. My paper was ruined. I, couldn't read I could this care less about your room inside. Of the I want to go home. Because it was covered in soil and spines. I know you dropped a cactus on it and then fled. You ordered a cactus from the plant catalogue and then left it for Mrs. Fleming as a gift. You place flowers in the window to get her attention and wear high heels to appear taller this and like more desirable. This is like the tutorial. And we have you failed. You are her secret admirer. Troubly. We know what's going on now. We got Barnes, this. It's Dr. We're going to roll Watson. through the rest of this. Rest assured, we are not interested in disclosing your personal affairs to anyone, including Mrs. Fleming. What a weird Please way to leave a gift, to give a, someone a gift. And what a weird response. Like, why did you think... Arrest him. Grab him. That was too weird. So, you know what happened then? I was on my way back from the post office, having picked up the cactus and some books. It was quite an awkward package, heavy too. And when I got to your door, I dropped the cactus in your paper. Forgive me. I needed that paper to prove a theory she and prevent desperate. a crime. Your actions were rather disruptive. Your clumsiness carrying the post is matched only by the clumsiness of your romantic gesture. Oh, Maybe he's it's rich. True. I am useless with this sort of thing. I'm not even sure if Mrs. Fleming noticed. She noticed. I'm invested. As in most things in life, truth is the answer. Cease with the obtruse signals and anonymous gifts and simply talk to the woman. What is the worst that can happen? She rejects you and you are freed from this endless purgatory. That... Yes, you are correct, of course. I do have a slight tendency to overthink things. Thank you. And we got one so out of two last, mysteries. We, we knew it was him. We just of the paper. thought he was a murderer. Our investigating a string no of way we're going to accuse anyone. Did you perhaps read Probably of again. any before the edition was spoiled? I don't recall, but you're welcome to read our copy for yourself. You had an issue of the Strand here all along? Well, naturally. I am a bookseller. I have a subscription to every magazine and newspaper in London. So you ought to be familiar with your... the concept of burying the lead. Exactly. I Oh, no. Uh, my apologies, Mr. Holmes. I'll make it up to you however I can. I am an expert on obscure languages and translation and... and uh, yes, yes, do? okay. Just give me the paper. I swear. The Strand, September 28th, 1882. Salt Petri Explosion Rocks Docks. We'll work on it. We'll, it's, a, it's a working title. Locals at the Port of London had a rude awakening last night with loud bangs and thick red smoke disturbing the peace. Merchant ship Moscava had docked at Pier No. 3 in the early evening en route to Europe when it was rocked by several concussive explosions. The Port Authority is yet to comment on the incident and it is unknown if any crew members were on board at the time. Eyewitness reports seen salt Petri Petre leaking into the river, but with the area still off limits to workers and the public, it may be some time before we have a full of a, 
account of what transpired. Come, Dr. Watson. Let us put this matter behind us. Farewell, yes. Mr. Barnes. Please. I hope to hear good news about you and Mrs. Fleming. Mm. Well, that was an utter waste of time. An assassination did seem rather unlikely. There was supposed to be another burglary. I was certain of it. Hmm. Something you wish to say, Anything Doctor? helpful? No. Well, only that you have a remarkable faculty for deduction and pattern recognition. And that perhaps, if ill-applied, I see things that are not there. Yes. It is London. There will always be burglaries. It doesn't have to mean anything. So it seems. He's so Forgive disappointed. Me. He desperately wanted to, to be my mind, I to have a hit out on him. Entirely different animal. Which brings us back to my news from earlier. I Imagine think how I bored you would have to be to be disappointed one, that someone was not truly. trying to kill you. Indeed. The perhaps not as thrilling I thought that way as your stories from Cordona. A patient of mine, Captain Stenwick, told me that his servant disappeared. I said I knew just the man to help. What do you say? Oh, Watson. Yes, I know it's not the most tantalizing mystery nor the story to launch my writing career. But it's brilliant. Let's go. Oh, good. Well, his house is nearby. Oh, Come. Watson. Thank you for pointing me in the correct direction. So I think we're going to call it quits here for our first Let's Play episode. I really hoped you liked this introductory episode and have liked getting to immerse yourself in the world with me as we figure out about the story and learn the controls together. This game has been amazing so far and it has been so much fun to get to go through it and play it with you. Please subscribe and leave a like and a comment down below and let me know your thoughts about the game so far. I hope you've had a great day and that you continue to have a great day. Thank you for hanging out with me. Bye for now.